haunted by pouring rain, a ceremony commemorating the United Church of Canada's apology to Native Canadians took place on Saturday in Sudbury. Spirit Connections Manitou reporter Doug Joplin was there. I'd just like you to say a little bit about the significance of this particular ceremony and service and dedication, and particularly a little bit about the apology itself. Well, Douglas, the apology was uh, extended by the United Church of Canada in August of 1986, the meeting of the 31st General Council. It was an apology for what the uh, early uh, church missionaries had done in, uh, in Canada. In, in a sense, if I can, can uh, say briefly, I think what we had done as a church in the past, we had discounted the value of the native traditions, their, their, their spiritual truths, uh, in an attempt to bring the gospel to the native people. We are here today uh, with this uh, cairn behind us, a cairn which was uh, on the podium during that 31st General Council and has been erected here in uh, Huntington University as a memorial of that event. This cairn has been built under the leadership of Art Solomon and Maxine McVeigh. Red quartzite rock was brought in from the Whitefish River Indian Reserve these rocks have been estimated to be 2,500 million years old. Twelve rocks which the conference presidents from across Canada brought with them to the council in 1986 had been built into the cairn. We decided to make, uh, to mark the place where we stopped together. <laughs> it is a place of meditation, if you like. The cairn is built in the shape of a circle, which in native spirituality represents the universe Four openings represent the four different directions of the universe. Fear not the east, whose color is yellow. We come before you with outstretched arms to ask for the gift of generosity. You who send the warmth of the sun, give us warmth to love our brothers and sisters. Art Solomon also incensed the cairn with sweet grass. The sweet grass is burned to purify people's hearts and minds and prepare them for conversation with the Creator. We ask you to forgive us and to walk together with us in the Spirit of Christ so that our peoples may be blessed and God's creation healed. This cairn and the apology behind it remind us that the native people were one of the first peoples here in this land. This cairn is an unfinished piece of work it will remain so as a reminder that our work is not finished, our journey together not yet ended, our stones not yet complete. Let us walk together the beautiful trail.